It's Mod War Games here. Let's continue with the Northern Fury campa campaign in Command Modern Operations. Check. Yeah, this will be a submarine focus scenario. Where we will attack a um, Soviet bastion. Basically where they keep around their ballistic submarines. Yeah, that is a good thing. Somebody put some consideration into it. I was already thinking in the beginning, hmm, attacking a bastion. You know, we are currently in a... Yeah, we are basically in World War Three, but it is still folked conventionally. And that was a quite a likely scenario that it would be possibly possible that a con conventional confrontation would happen and in a con confrontation like this you would try to prevent from putting heat onto your en enemy in certain aspects one of those major aspects would be uh, nuclear capability Let's say you would try in, a in, in this conventional in um, confrontation, you would try to track down those SSBNs, which are a major part of the nuclear deterrence of, of both world powers. And this, of course, could trigger them to respond, to elevate the response, perhaps even to nuclear. And I like that he put the effort into it that you are not allowed to sink them. I might even stay completely away from them. Sure, if we if we try if we find them, we report them. But if I find any Soviet nuclear ballistic submarines, I will stay away from them. Because if we push them too much, you know, stuff could happen. Nuclear launch. Those things can carry the ballistic missiles to every place in the world. And I like it that he put this effort into it. This speaks of some consideration. 
in a, somebody else would said simply sink, sink them all. And that might not happen. Yeah, it is an all-out war, but it is a limited war. And, and it is a conventional war. And no, no, nobody currently has interest to escalate into it into a full Soviet, uh, full um, nuclear war. Because in such a war, there's only, I mean, there's in general only losers in war. But yeah, in a nuclear war, it is even more severe. The main enemy is war itself, then. Good. Yeah, one problem will be, not sure if the, I mean, I know that the author is revisioning those missions for CMO, for the updates and everything. This comes from a fresh scenario package, updated to the newest standards, so I think it will be fine. I will especially try to maintain my submarines. This will be hard. I expect the enemy will have a lot of ASW. I want to be extremely deep in order to prevent being um, yeah, prosecuted. Somebody really we need uh, we need to make a separate video about some of those missions, uh, those mission briefings. That's how you write mission briefings. Yeah, for some personal inf information. Yeah, we have even, for example, we had a captain of TG forty two point four USS Seawolf. We have the most senior captain here riding the most modern submarine on the world. Yeah, and you have some personal here, some former classmate of yours. That's how you write it, and you know that's also the reason why. There's a novel out for this campaign. We need campaigns like this more in other games. And I, yeah, period. I know sometimes I was wondering that if people are not able to write anymore, they don't learn it at school, but campaigns like this um, raise my optimism again. And I'm not talking about writing some Shakespeare or whatever. I'm talking about getting a proper briefing done put at least five to ten minutes consideration into it after you designed for how a mission. You wouldn't buy some beautiful um, present yeah, and then you would wrap it up in, I don't know what, toilet paper to present it. Yeah, that's Yeah, we will have a lot of ASW pla planes, BS, and those smaller uh, aircraft, propeller aircraft, turboprop aircraft. And we have to expect two 122 are coolers, Victor 3s, Victor 2s, Victor 1s, all attack subs. These are older generations, however, the Victor 3s are quite capable. Are coolers, sure, always capable. Kilo. Um, small diesel subs, extremely quiet, more towards shallow waters, Tango Foxtrot, uh, I think attack subs of older generations. Only estimates. In a few days we will be joined by Philadelphia and Swift Shore, but not yet. You know, even giving a perspective what is what will come up. That is how you write a briefing. Yeah, and we want to cut down the traffic in order to support the situation in Iceland. Makes sense. We want to cut down Soviet shipping. And our mission objectives are sub stop traffic. Uh, Identify those SSBNs, but do, uh, do not attack them. Uh, deploy some easement equipment on Beer Island. This will be a mission for the James K. Polk. Cable tapping operations executed by the L. Men Mendel Rivers and signal intelligence by the Naval. Okay. 
you should play some so and so's DLCs and I say all have great briefings. Yeah, that's that's I mean they have visually good good um they I like the visuals and yes, definitely they improved, same with the life scenarios. But some for example the last life scenario Sahel Slugfest was again lacking in it. I guess it's different authors. But still, at least with this video presentation, you get some immersion in this. But this is, you know, this providing so much immersion, this campaign. And I know many that simply, you know, um, especially most who play this are, I guess, more adult. Adults usually tend to have less time for gaming. They might not focus only on the sole quantity. Last time I saw somebody posting in, I was at in Steam, somebody asking, is there a mission editor for command or do I need to play all, replay all scenarios all over again? I was thinking, <laughs> this guy must be clueless if he would know how many scenarios there are for command alone in the community pack. I don't think that uh, a living person will ever play all command scenarios. Um, despite this, like I said, I don't think most are focusing on quantity but rather on quality. There are a ton of scenarios also in this community pack. For me, it's sometimes hard to judge how good they are, and especially if I read a briefing like Sink the enemy submarine. Yeah, period. And there might be good missions. Might be somebody spent 10 hours designing this mission. But I will never play it. So if you write such a briefing in your mission, I will never play it. And it's like I said. It's also hard for me to real to to understand why people do it like this. If I would, I don't know, spend ten missions, twenty missions in an editor and design something, the briefing would be the least or the most enjoyable part for me. While taking the least amount of time. And yeah, I like that. That was also a problem with those main campaigns in. For a time, for example, this Northern Inferno or also other DLCs, they also have often lacking briefing, simply lost opportunity, especially in a World War III scenario that goes nuclear. There's so much opportunity to write something in order to raise awareness and, and the horrors of nuclear warfare. No, simply provide a four liner. Yeah, New York um, is not anymore. Okay, le guys, let's go. <laughs> And that was the absolute missed opportunity there. But uh, there's definitely improvement to be seen. And yeah, I remember Science Service, also what I really liked about Science Service, it introduced those visual briefing elements, which I can also help, I don't know, reconnaissance photos or whatever, stuff like this. That is important. It, the times are over. I mean, in the 90s they even did it better with war games. I don't know, there was some time in war gaming, there was a shift in philosophy where people simply provided soulless um, content, thinking, okay, here, have a simulation. Um, if I want sh shit like this, I go back to officer training school. Even, in, even there you will get more immersion, and because in real training they provide you also, they immerse you into a situation in order to aid with decision making. And so there's absolutely no excuse sometimes for this yeah, low quality content. It's also, also nothing to do with small indie teams or whatever, because this is often the part that takes the least amount of work. Okay, let's read um, the, yeah, let's get the briefing out. For the patrol areas. Okay, establish east of Greenland Sea. That must be this here, right? Show me all missions. If you're looking for a challenge, definitely try beans and bullets in science service. Uh, what was it again? Um, about what? What submarines and what AO was it? Five patrol areas marked on the map. Yeah, I guess this here. Cable tap. 
Naval signal intelligence. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Roger, dead. Yeah, the Naval, what is it for? This guy is exactly. So we need to bring some subs to the north. Okay, yeah, those submarines, Naval, you will focus on the signal intelligence mission. Then who's who's responsible for the ca cable tap operation? Cable tap operations. The Mendel Rivers, what is this for boat? Mendel Rivers. That is a uh, Sturgeon class. Okay, yeah, not bad, but not state of the art either. Good. You will tap the cable, roger that. Good, let's see what we want to bring for subs. How deep is the waters here? Ah, the layer is shown here. That is, yeah, okay, yeah, but. What I wanted to know, yeah, um, sound of speed, is there a way to show sound of speed profile in, because in command, uh, in real submarine operations, you need to know sound of speed. Uh, you also need to know, is it isothermic, and yeah, layer is important, sure, but it's not always like this, um, stay in the layer, there are some specific depths, where you can maximize your detection range, Minimize your detection, etc. Depending on where the, uh, depending on the point of view, of your opponent. Uh, we will see. Perhaps there is something like this. Def, CZ. What is CZ? At no, that is something else. You will see. Perhaps it is in this waypoint window that you can tell what is the SSP. Good, that is a Los Angeles Flight 1, Trafalgar, yeah, those things are not that, f oh, okay, 15, Augusta, Los Angeles, where's the Seawolf, Franklin class, oh, damn it, those are basically the even before the sturgeon, right? What was it for a nuclear power attacked submarine? What's the difference between a sturgeon and a Franklin? Is the Franklin carrying VLS? No, it does not like. No. Seal, seal is carrying, okay. Wasn't that for this James? Ah, exactly. James is also on a special mission for Beer Island. Uh, what was your AO? Deploying a los electronic listening and weather station on Beer Island. Deployment area marker on the map. Poik delivery. Ah, okay. Good. Yeah, so we Polk. And who was the other guy again? Mendel Rivers. Right. Yeah, you stay here. So again, death is 2500. Seawolf is here. Seawolf, you will join in the main and take point. Let's send one LA class. Uh, do we want to really send those LA classes north? I mean, they will be long for a long time out of combat here. Okay, let's see how many LA classes do we have? Two. Yeah. Too many subs also not got on the same on the same spot. Got one LA class head north. Perhaps even 
One LA class. What is this Perle? That's a French. Is this a good boat, rubies? Nuclear. Mm -hmm. Good. Take over this patrol area. LA flag one, take over this patrol area. Sea Wolf, take this patrol area. LA, take this patrol area. Sturgeon will join in here. Then the Brits need to come to the north. The Trafalgar. What, what can you run? Fast enough for me. You will come to the north. Take patrol zone del delta over. They show not pass was a lot of fun too. Victor tried trying to take on a resupply convoy. Extreme difficult one. Uh, d this I didn't didn't play yet. Yeah, I need to check this out. Do a simulation between French and Turkish navy on Mediterranean Sea. CZ convergence zone. Ah, that's good. So Franklin SSBNs were converted into sea carrying subs after Sol 2 having the missile tubes removed. This one is of them. Yeah, also well, exactly. I was thinking, why the heck they are bringing? That would be absolutely making no sense if they're bringing those SSBNs. So it is a converted seal thing. Is it also carrying? No, it's only carrying seals. Yeah, that's interesting. I was thinking they did something similar, like to the Ohio class. To those two free Ohio classes, which they converted to SSGNs plus seal plus um, plus those SDV carriers, but this thing is basically a commando sub, but extremely huge. Uh, okay, patrol areas are. Let's run the simulation for some seconds, and yeah, yeah, sensors should be fine, but we will go deep. Okay, let's see. I think F2 is it, right? Yeah, you know what would be great? I don't know if the simulation is even handling it, but they could show the SSP profile here. Something like this, for example. Um, plus, minus, sound of speed. But I'm not even sure if command is handling SSP. Sound, s speed of sound profile. Because that is extremely important for submarining. It's not always below the layer, and it's, it's not always you can be in the layer and it's the best. That's not true. There are situations where it is the worst to be in the layer. Where it might be better to be deep. Even for detecting stuff on the surface, it might be better to be deep. Because the sound of speed is decreasing there. Or there are situations where it might be good to be right at the surface for detecting stuff far away. And here, yeah, not sure if this is handled by the simulation. No. But one threat has nothing to do with SSP, that is aircraft. Aircraft is your biggest enemy, especially in command. In command, um, in reality as well. ASW aircraft are the biggest enemies, and a good protection from them is going deep and silent, of course. Because below the layer, layer is what? Yeah, 180 feet is a joke. They might detect you there. Ah, but they improved it. There was a time where ASW was extremely, extremely dangerous, deadly. The problem is you might miss out what is going on on the surface while you're that deep. I suspect they have some s linear sound speed profile going on there. Uh, the deeper they go, the less you notice stuff, the less you get noticed. Something like this, I guess. And then I will decide on the go what we will do. But first, let's go deep, but especially I want to run fast. 
some of those subs need to get into those AOs fast and Death is also helping with this. But you will basically uh, miss everything what is happening on the surface. But and they will miss you. Okay, let's play. Good. Next we will decide about the speed, but they're currently yeah Trafalgar, you need to speed up, cruise, go full. It'd be also great to know how loud they are. I could imagine they are running cruise, right? Are they running Okay, they're running some manuals. Yeah, I mean for the time being LA you could handle two, right? Tac but tactical speed is best twenty. I guess cruise is tactical speed for most subs here. Tactical means they don't go blind. I don't want them to go blind. I guess in command best tactical is cruise. Yeah, you guys can creep around. Let let us, or yeah, maintain your 50 nuts there. That is fine. And uh, let the attack subs first check out what is going on here. Do we have some mission missions going on here now? Okay, I mean, I like scenarios like this, but uh, yeah, they have definitely those airports shown here. They will launch a ton of ASWs. Sub ops is often good to have this window here open for. Let's see where can I place it. I mean, messages are not that super important because we have good a good situation of one is. So, you can build my little command station here. Uh, really. I can also do it like this. Yeah, this window is fixed. I need need more screen. <laughs> um, yeah, that's okay. Got the time time. Yeah, everybody avoid cavitation. They will ignore it. I think when when they're running, they will ignore settings like this. Yeah, uh, don't overdo it. Cruise speed, I said. 15, yeah. You... Can you at least... Yeah, r currently it is on the front line, so I don't want to speed up. Let, we will run tactical. Yeah, the Seawolf, I think, can even run... I want the Seawolf forward. Linking up on the same height. So this is our best sub. And currently, the chance likelihood of running into something is low. So the Seawolf is allowed to speed up. That's it. Yeah, I think we can remo remove those yellow lines here. Oh, way better. That's if you want to play a harpoon style, you need to play it like this. Okay, that's a bit too much. That's harpoon style. Some missions you need to stay in um, ELF parameters to get updates, usually above 1000. Not sure if this one has it. Um, no, I don't think you have extremely low frequency messages here. But I know it, I know I uh, already played signed service. 
it would be great if they I mean it started out the in the first missions you get so many also in this Norway mission there were so many messages uh, why don't give me some messages here I know ELF is of course limited you can't write novels there but still I don't know but normally you only receive those if they want to communicate with, with you it's extremely legit that they won't, wouldn't annoy you while you are in a highly threat situation Mm. Here they are. Oh, there's a strength information on the layer. Okay. Not strong. So running deep is the best. They're already looking for us. Yeah, I don't know. Normally, I guess... Um, do we have air? Why not the... Okay, because it's the narrow point, okay, but... Yeah, it feels not really don't like it that we have basically the enemy has full air superiority over us. What the heck? Oh shit. Oh man, that is absolutely nuts this mission. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Slow down. On the other hand, it is active. Is it active? Or did you detect the... Yeah, yeah, it is active. It, it wasn't a splash. Yeah, get out of it. Get away from it. So what are becoming very... Yeah, great. They're already doing the ASW pretty on spot. I mean, that is not close. Shouldn't detect us, but you never know. I mean, it is... Not a joke. When it already dropping active sonar buoys that close, you don't want to know. And about passive, you might not know. Perhaps we route into deep, in, away from the Norway. We will do it like this, yeah, away from the coastline, because they have they pro they deploying those aircraft from here. This thing very really most stupid place ever. This will take us a lot of time. And this Rubis is running 12 knots. Okay. Uh, really command developers, can you please make it? I mean, it shouldn't be that hard or uh, tech view developers. Uh, they earned a ton of money with command. That at least it looks like water. It is simply get some into Microsoft Paint. This shouldn't be that hard to get get that it looks like water. Really, it is should be not that hard. You know, this below water. Above water, it's okay. I'm fine with it. But below water, it looks like a, as we floating. It's, it can't be that hard to do something that the shading of this becomes more darker because this is really hurting immersion since release they made a ton of money with this thing i don't want to know how much they made uh, alone with this command how many bi bite it sure it wasn't a flag swimming but come on it was really a small thing there and uh, well, i remember i talked about this in my review video and sure fog of war if they can handle fog of war which was quite a big thing that they got fog of war done, that is absolutely brilliant. And you tell me they can't handle it, that you get some some shading out so that it doesn't look like the sub is floating in air. I just need to play like this because otherwise it looks strange. You 
if you can detect a zone by it is active. Now do you think you can also detect the splashes sometimes if it falls close to you. You can detect when it um, deploys in the water. Um, but I'm not sure exactly. You know. I think I already saw sometimes that you detect sonar boys that dropping into the water. You can detect it. You can also detect it. Uh, submarines can also hear low flying aircraft on the sonars. That's something that is also think missing. Yeah, the ASW aspect is still somewhat lacking. They should call a sonar list. But yeah, they can. It is not easy, but um, it, they can hear some stuff that is happening around them. Perhaps not that deep, I don't know, but I wasn't a dolphin, a submariner. Definitely hear aircraft in the water and see more, but the uh, room for improvement, sure. Yeah, I'm already happy that they t tuned down the MAD SAD detection. That was absolutely, absolutely out of proportions. This um, you could pass with the aircraft. I think they had before had they had simply a bore sign of one nautical mile. Sounds not much, but it is absolutely crazy in ASW. So they simply fly around. And in a 3D space, everything in a box of one nautical mile gets automatically detected. That was a submarines were got getting sunk all over the place. And that's also from where it comes that I run those things deep in order to increase the... But they made it more better. Because in reality, from what I've heard from literature and, and from, from people that operated, MRD, SID doesn't play that much of a major role. Especially not in primary detection. It is only... not. Like I said, I, I don't know it, I didn't operate it, this stuff, um, but it makes sense, they only use it for confirmation. If they have something on their Zono boys, which is the primary mean of finding submarines still, all navies invest most of the ASW money or ASW money into those Zono boys, and s s many aircraft are even removed their MRD SRD sensors. If it would be such a godlike sensor, like in earlier command versions, they wouldn't remove it. The newer P3 Orions don't have magnetic detectors anymore. And, or anomaly detectors. It's not only magnetic, it's also seismic. So, looks like they are not a super weapon. Don't want to say that they're useless, but I remember in command, when you fly around in a patrol zone, you by accident stumble on submarines all over the place. It was absolutely nuts. That they, that they took them so long to realize it. And now it's way better, way better. That's already happy because for some time it was unplayable for me. Because subs blew up all over the place because of um, random MRD, SRD hits. The range was absolutely nuts. Liter literature mentioned something of, I don't know what, 2000 yards. Uh, no, not 2,000 yards, wait. Yeah, and... You need to think magnetics. Magnetics is, is arising per distance um, via square. So you need a sensor that is... That in order to get... In order to get the double the range detection, you need a sensor that is basically... Was it even higher? No, it is raising by, by square. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So the it was it was even really hardcore over over the top how you could detect subs here. You had basically sensors that were several hundred percent stronger than in reality. But now it's improved. You most detections now happen via Sonar Boys, which seems to be also what happens in, in most of those war games. Yeah, there's a reason why MRD is no longer a thing on the P8 Poseidon, exactly. If it, you know, sure we don't know for sure, but if something is 
um, if something is getting removed from it, it is definitely not a super weapon. That is simply common common knowledge. And yeah, from also from books, it is mentioned that I never read it. That uh, only read that MAD hits, Madman hits, or whatever you want to call them, are all, were only used as confirmation. And they can be also sketchy. That's also why they sometimes do it three times in a row before they. It was for. It can be practiced and before a torpedo attack is commenced. And then they do it I don't know, two or three times to really be sure. But there's some books by pilots that were ASW pilots who mentioned it was dodgy and the distance was something like. Yeah, it was not much. I don't know how many yards, but definitely not one nautical mile or something like this. That is absolutely nuts. And we're talking one nautical mile, not in the depth, but one nautical mile in every direction. So basically, if this is an aircraft, one nautical mile in every direction. Yeah, a box. Not a box, a radius, of course, but you get the idea. And this was absolutely <laughs> subs were blown out of, of of the waters. Like, yeah, let's get away. It looks like most of those active zoners are near the coast, so we were we route the rubies. And now a submarine scenarios are really enjoyable, and, and that's also why I put on, put my science service on hold. But I want definitely to play it not so, because I love submarining here as well, especially missions like this. But this MRD problem was simply too too hardcore. Of course, um, the MRD might be also a. Definitely won't go through this. Um, yeah, damn it. Looks like we might be cut off here. Do you want to send the Seawolf instead? Yeah, I definitely won't go for the submarine. It's just not that it's suicide. The sea is not. Yeah, that is. Greenland is not occupied. We could reroute the Seawolf, but you will lose a lot of capability in the center. On the other hand, there's nothing here. Oh! A Sturgeon is coming from the nowhere. <laughs> yeah, Lepon, what the heck are you coming? You're exactly what I need. I said the long version. No. Okay, perfect. Heard, heard you need some assistance here. <laughs> Was he already always on the map? Why is this so black here? Is this. Oh, let's see what's my. Is this cut out or what? Did I deactivate something here? Ah, okay. Yeah, um... God damn it. Welcome to the party. You are <laughs> exactly what I need. Um, go deep. Avoid cavitation. And yeah, run cruise. Tom Cruise, come on. Uh, seven? Are you that shallow? What is the problem? What is your current? Ah, okay, yeah, he, he will go deep and then he will speed up. That's exactly why you want to hit this avoid cavitation button. Because otherwise they might start to cavitate because of death settings or whatever. Okay, yeah, this means... Yeah, looks like we are cut off here. Sturgeon, you need to handle it. Two areas, perhaps the Naval can support you. The Naval... It was basically... Was that the first nuclear submarine, right? No. The first one was... Oh god, is this Naval class? 
it's quite old, right? 60s technology, 60s, but they get, I guess they got updated. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. Okay, yeah, they, they have a toad array. Wow, okay, that's good. I didn't expect that. Yeah, you do your signal intelligence or whatever you do, and then. Ah, you're over the layer currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are on patrol zone. You need to check, of course. That's fine by me currently, but watch out. If you hear a sonoboy dropping or if you get ESM from my aircraft, I immediately dive. But yeah, you're allowed to go to... Damn it, I need to find a better place for this. Okay, that's, that's good. Yeah, I don't need this stuff here below, I'll never use it. So, now we're talking. That's my new command center. Um, yeah, what I wanted to do exactly, go to PD, check out ESM and everything. They will automatically check for signals. Yeah, Triumph. Looks like um, some guys got cut off here, Plan change of plans, you will hit, hit this patrol area, one, two, three, and Augusta, you go towards, because the rubies got cut off here, yeah, rubies avoid, and then we will see, yeah, you stay away from this stuff here. Nautilus, ah, yeah, exactly, that was the first. Sentinel so 2 takes, I prefer BM and G layers for naval missions. Yeah, usually if I stay in an area, it should keep it like this. I mean, I was now zooming around. This is a small AO, but I know what you mean. If you have to do a lot of zooming and moving around, it can be a bit annoying. Ah, the BNG layer is faster. Ah, good to know. Naval was experimenting very quiet sub. Was a quiet boat until in service under the Ohio. Ah, really? Yeah, it looks modern. I was wondering. It looks quite modern from us from the whole design. Interesting. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Attack capability. Was the eighties? Yeah, it's running ad caps. And ADC Mark II. Decoys are okay. Yeah, this running ad caps. I'm happy. Good, let's speed up and save. Perhaps we'll use this, is not a bad idea. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but it's close to the coast, so we need to funnel through here. But this. Uh, what should I do? I want to press our Augusta through here. I guess they simply will drop on our heads, right? Yeah, don't take any chances, go deep, go into. Uh,
Yeah, but first get your sick sick and mission done as deep as possible. Run towards this location. Yeah, okay, we have. Co okay, yeah, this is coming from Norway. This is coming from. Yeah, sounds uh, like a border like uh, Naval, I mean. Why is he stopping the game when I'm. Is this a new? When I press here. Is this new that he stops the game? Can I. I don't want this. I don't want this hand holding. I can't remember. Was it always like this? If I want to read to stuff while time is running, let me do it. If I want to pause, I will pause myself. One thing that they couldn't approve would be global hotkeys. That is also a big problem if you are. That is really a huge problem. Is it really that difficult? If you are on a different screen, space isn't reacting. You need to press on the map. Then that is really, <laughs> really sounds so basic, but yeah, that is. Sometimes if you're in a 3D vision, you might miss 5 minutes because of high time acceleration. Yeah. Man, they get they get high complexity stuff done. Fuck of war into 3D view. I mean, I was thinking never ever they will get this done in in short amount of time. Half of a year we are done. They get stuff done like, I don't know, 3D interface here, some hardcore um, simulations. <laughs> it is so funny, that's so stuff like Excuse me, yes, can I have a hotkey for a global hotkey that I can pause no matter where I am? Mm. <laughs> we will, yeah, perhaps. Perhaps in five years. Uh. It is new. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I hate it. Because I sometimes end up, you know, if I do this, for example, when I'm waiting for something to happen. I don't. I, so was there really. Was there really. You know, don't do stuff that perhaps somebody doesn't need. Was there really somebody saying, oh damn it, when I read those data, I missed it. I read something about the Naval and suddenly two days passed. Why is the game still running? I'm the commander. If I order 16, uh, whatever, 100 time compression, I order it and let me alone, leave me alone if I'm checking out the interface. Because I often end up, the game is stopped and I wonder why is nobody moving and then I was wondering, hey, what, what's going on? You know, you don't always see immediately if the game is paused, if you don't always take a look at the time. And sit there five hours. Okay, it looks like they switched to passive now. Or they're simply done. But yeah, I will keep, we will use this corridor. Perhaps they switched off because they found something. <laughs> they went they went silent that is normally not a good sign it might indicate you might like it but normally if so if if, if they go silent they, that is somebody's satisfied then he becomes silent oh man this is really some travel time here New feature, man. Finally, after 10 years development, if you <laughs> read some text, the game will pause. God damn it, this will be, I mean, wasn't it obvious that this will be a bit annoying? You know, very more important, I know what the problem is sometimes. If people are here, they can't pause the game anymore. I mean, get this global hotkey done. It can't be that hard, sorry, but there's really no excuse for this. I use a VLC player in the background and it's using global here. I can switch my tracks. I, even, I don't know, even uh, there are tools like, I don't know what. Um, 
written by a 12 year old that has global hotkeys. Are you telling me it is really not possible to give hotkeys global hotkeys for pause, pausing and um, time control? And it can't be. That's way more important than, um, than silly stuff like this. Because then if I want to stop, I simply hit the space button. No matter where I am, if I'm in tech view, if I'm reading about the Naval, if I'm looking at my at my uh, grandma's next present for Christmas, I can hit the space button. Or whatever button I define as a global hotkey. That is simply no excuse, I don't understand it. They, get, they can make rocket science stuff, but global hotkeys, that's too... <laughs> this is absolutely unexplainable. This is one of the seven big world secrets. <laughs> Fog of War, yes. A bit darker water, no. <laughs> Most complex air and sea com simulation, yes. A global hotkey, no, no not, not yet. Technology is still being developed by the US military. Okay. Oh, yeah, looks like the stop was active. Could, could be that they switched to passive. Either they located something. Perhaps they located several boats and they know we are coming and then they switch to passive. And now they're waiting, I don't know, but we will maintain the plan. Because it is strange that everything happened at the same moment. It's like globally the Soviet defense here decided to switch off. They are coming. I mean if I would be Soviet commander, I hear them coming. I would indeed switch off and bring my submarines into positions, hunt them passively, try to locate them, not engage them yet, and then hit them with everything at the same moment. Could be that something like this is going on right now. Computers are broken in this build, they can run out to, to 11, 12 nautical miles regardless of leftover fuel kinematics and just peter out. Okay, didn't notice this. There was also a hotfix. I also didn't read anything about this. I had already some sub -com combat here in 1.02. I mean, it was limited in this Sahel Slugfest. There was not much, to, uh, there was no su sub combat. We will see. What do you mean? Do you mean that the torpedoes keep running without end, or what do you mean? So I'm just suspicious uh, when I hear, because that uh, when something when people mention something is broken in combat mission or in command or in other complex military simulations, I uh, first want to hear the details. So 90% of this rather something else is broken. The torps just die at 12 nautical miles max. Okay, yeah, we will see. <laughs> ah, no, that's the distance here. Are we running kinematic or do we run practical? Kinematic range, practical. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, no. I will go kinematic, but I don't know if this is unfair for the AI. If the AI is, if the Russians are using practical, 
you need to combine this here with pessimistic and then you have basically they attack when they are pretty sure that Atari can't un outrun, the outrun the torpedo. If you combine this with pessimistic. Practical range is quite short for those ad caps. What is it? 5, 6 nautical miles? I don't like to let somebody come that close to me. Wait, can I see what is the practical range? Green, uh, what is... Underwater weapons, dark green. Where is it? Is it on this? Is it the same? Yeah. <laughs> How much is it? Yeah, forget it, man. <laughs> I mean, it's nuts. Okay, it's okay. I mean, that is quite realistic and completely fine. Eight nautical miles is huge. Uh, I, in dangerous waters, attack usually. Yeah, eight. What is it? Six. No, no, no it's eight. Two. This is four. But then. <laughs> what is. Who did this, man? That's not how you do a. I am not 246. 5 leaf service, a lot of guessing. That's not how you do a scale. Okay. Yeah, that is better. Yeah, 6 is fine. 6. What the heck is this for a scale? 0, 4, 9? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, this uh, okay. Okay, eight nautical miles, I got my information <laughs> after um, this uh, magic scale here. Um, 8 nautical miles is fine, I've, let's see what if it changes if I activate, what, what, what it changes when I activate practical. Yeah, it changes to 20, yeah, what was it? Um, but they will still decide to attack only if it makes sense. Sometimes subs have really small practical ranges. It's often um, subject for people reporting that their subs are not attacking. Because it seems, you know, SOP in reality might be different from what you might be used to in video gaming. Just because a weapon is bringing a certain range to the table doesn't mean that you might use the range. There might be other reasons like target solution ambiguity or whatever that might... Let's see. I don't see any difference here. Wasn't this changing then? Okay, let's keep it to standard. We will see if those guys go extremely close. We might change this. Control D, yeah. Yeah, I, I just wonder. I mean, there must be a reason why it provides like this. Perhaps it is some um, imperial thing. I just wonder what is this for way to provide a scale. It looks for me really uneven numbers. Why? Like I said, I'm used to metric, uh, metric, or in my field, my education, I was primarily using metric systems, but it looks uh, strange, never seen something like this. Uh, control D, you say, yeah, that is so good, yeah, yeah, that is perfect. So this is what? This is six point six point what? One of those? Why you should why you, somebody would provide a scale like this? Where the how said this translated from another scale? Are they using meters and translating it into? Are they using met metric and translating it? into in previous and that's why the scale is provided into this strange way. Was this changed? I can't remember that the scale was 
It was um, bananas like this. XXX uh, nautical noise from cell. Ah, yeah, that is, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was already using this, forgot about this. Yeah, thanks. That is also a really good option, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Didn't know about this 12 nautical miles things. Yeah, I, I'm running, I don't know, I'm running, I have installed a better build, which you can get from the forums. But they only reported minor bug fixes, I don't know. But I didn't have any major torpedo engagements in 1.2, but some will come up. Yeah, it looks like near the North Pole, or near the poles of the globe, map generation is a bit wonky. Okay, perfect. Oh, now we're speeding up here. Look at this. What happened? Did the, did the Soviets trigger um, Are they done with their, with their, with their thinking? <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, I was already wondering why this is running a bit slow for the amount of units. It's not that big. Now we're talking. Yeah, we have some first, first things already arriving. Good. Uh, it's the time to slow down. We also might need to check above the layer. Yeah. Triumph Trafalgar. Exactly. You will go here. Now, let the LA class. You are a smaller boat, right? Uh, you also nuclear powered, but Trafalgar class are a bit smaller, right? They are not this big. I mean, it is a flight one. It's not carrying the VLS. Whatever. Let's stick to the plan. There's a bit many. Do you want to keep the sea wolf in? Nah, the sea wolf will go to the front lines. I have a ton of subs here. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like to operate more than one sub. On the other hand, what is the distance of one patrol area? Yeah, you lose the scale, you know, you lose the scale. One patrol area is definitely big enough. Um, if you play zoomed out always, you might lose, lose the. Let's do it like this. You might lose the idea of scale, but those patrol areas are quite big. Do not underestimate them. Good. Now, Melville Rivers, um, what was your mission? Yeah, cable tap, right? Yeah, okay. Polk was the Franklin class, the seal sub. Do we need to get it from this side? Uh, looks like. Yeah, luckily the subs are smart, they don't run aground here. Yeah, you remain, stick to the plan, the sonar boys might be still active. Join in in reserve, and then we will see what we will do with your boobies. Sturgeon from. Oh, I was thinking it disappeared. Yeah, but this guy is extremely far away. 300 nautical miles. Huh? Okay, Naval is on the way. Let's go. Hit the uh, patrol zones. Yeah, I don't feel. I wouldn't patrol here. I would patrol here, but this feels somehow. I don't feel comfy here.
mod. 128 feet death. Nah, nah, forget it. Uh, who designed this mission? Yeah. Come some sub pack. Yeah, let's deploy 10 subs. How deep is the water there? Mm. Ah, wait, that is only. Yeah, come on, that's a joke. Nobody would deploy a pike of subs into this waters. On the other hand, it's only here. This zone is patrol zone Z. Yeah, patrol zone Z. Sea wolf, you two guys maintain in deep waters. Absolutely no way we will go there. Suicide waters here. Good. Oh, that shit, is there something? No, I almost think they're already ganking us up here. Um, explains why 65 way coming to a stop before the fuel runs out, okay? So, you also notice this? Okay, change of plans. Triumph. Follow, follow our. Yeah, I mean, I can design, uh, I don't know, ah, come on, let's do it, man. Yeah, I could design patrol zones here, and then they do manual stuff. I think if you give them a mission like, 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 yeah, but it's okay, let's do it, man. Yeah. Okay, now while incoming. Imagine we would have continued here. Good night. Okay, LA class arriving. Go creep. Go. Go, 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 go. Just, yeah, go periscope that form. I don't like it, but. layer isn't that strong. Shouldn't we be able to detect from the depths? Uh, but I remember playing Sahel Slugfest, the, the chance, the goal went by me without getting hurt, because I was too deep, I guess. A complete carrier group <laughs> bypassed me. Uh, that was a bit nuts, but who knows, I mean. But I normally don't hang out on the surface, even with attack boats, especially if they are, if we're getting hunted. I don't know. I mean, layer strength is reported 0 0.3. I don't know what this means. I guess 0 0.3 degradation. Perhaps by this you can guess, because often the SSP decrease is happening at the layer and then it looks like this. 
increasing, decreasing, perhaps 0 0.3 indicates basically the angle. Now see what you stay is. I still think as deep as possible is best for detecting stuff. But we'll see now, perhaps now. We can also go just under the layer, right? Under the layer would be probably the wor worst spot if it is increasing. Further information. Yeah, stay, stay angled in order to use the toad. I can't stay as deep. I mean, my boats are most important for me. But uh, as I said, sometimes the mic bypass you hear nothing. Yeah, I think at this northern regions it's definitely way better to play it with this layer, uh, with this graphics, yeah. Distance between them is 40 nautical miles. That is good. 20 nautical miles is okay. Yeah, perhaps in order so don't need to micromanage them. Mm. Could create small stations. Too lazy. <laughs> it's okay. So do it like this period. On a flank position is the best. Sea floor, Ooh, he's hitting something, yeah, but it's okay. 800 is fine, it's okay. You might go a bit higher. Twelve hours at periscope. Okay.
Yeah, let's enter those patrol areas for a moment. If they are triggering something, but then I will leave them again. Um, the Sea Wolf can do it. Atlanta, stay on station. It's uh, we only need one boat here doing doing this. <laughs> was was thinking he surfaced. Switch this on. What happened? Uh, he's not able to use the toad array because of the death. Is that what he's saying? I oh, wait, there's a mess message attached to it. Yeah, the US Naval was a testbed for experimental electronics and signal intelligence equipment through its life, testing many of advanced. SIG and ECM, EW and sauna suits. This mission simulates that she breached the thin ice crust at the edge of the ice pack to conduct SIG and collection with some form of advanced equipment. She will spend the next few months moving from listening zone to listening zone and awaiting contact. Excellent. Yeah, that's great. Mes messages like this, now I have an idea what the heck he is doing there. Great. Yeah, I guess the Sea Wolf is stopping its toad array because Because he's so, yeah, now he's expanding it again. Yeah, okay, that's enough. We are in a patrol and nothing happened here. Come back. Can also slow down to a creep. But first, get out of the waters here. Okay, 500 feet is fine. French here, drawing solo boys, magnets here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in theory, he's right. To set it to ignore. I mean, that is a good idea to dive if an aircraft is incoming. Yeah, okay. Not on ESM detection. Yeah, this sounds good. Yeah, it is, it is safe. If it comes too close, dive, definitely. But that's good. Collect information that will help us. Oops, you can, okay. Did you detect this name here? 
Okay, next sub surviving in this, the triumph. The triumph. Trafalgar class. I think this guy is the. Is it somewhere. I don't know, is it louder than a 688? But let's go into defensive portion to be more in line with those two. But we won't hit this patrol area, it's absolutely nuts. 100 feet death won't happen. The problem will be we have two subs here on the front lines operating there. I might switch out the Sea Wolf with the LA class here. What do we have else? Benjamin Franklin, no, those two, okay, I need to debate. I want, might want to bring the sea wolf here into this in order to protect the island. That might be a plan. How deep is the waters here? Yeah, we need to go shallow. Survey. Not worth it. Six, eight, eight. What a Brits. Naval here, the detection post, getting here information. Okay, what I wanted to do, yeah, let's come to the quickly over the layer just for a second. Is there a setting? Can you automate this in command that they at least sometimes, I know, have specifying the interval? Yeah, I know this is complicated. But what I sometimes miss is some. AI algorithm for submarines that they sometimes at least peek over the layer and then go deep again. Just for a sonar sweep and go deep again. Yeah, but that is really a good tip. This is um, this is definitely if you're working on the north, on the poles, this other thing is this uh, the Sentinel two layer on the poles. It is often it seems. I guess there's something that if you, it's basically thinking you're switching the side of the earth and then you completely the texture's getting screwed. Then you also have this black hole here. I'm here this is way better to operate this BNG thing. You can zoom out without losing half of your. What is this? A target. Uh -huh. Triumph. So arriving in a patrol zone, but stick here somewhere. I mean, according to this, they, this is a maximum zone range. And, oh, oh triumph! God damn it! Do you simply go to? Okay, do you want to bring more assets? 
Uh, definitely not. Could bring a sea wolf. Yeah, you know, if you run in cruise, then it's likely that he detected you. Okay, track the goblin. Slow down the game. To five or something. And he's doing TMA like champ. Let's maneuver in order to make it more, make it better. Are you operating toward the race? Yeah, trophy got definitely right. Yeah. Attack submarine. Yeah, you might need to handle it. The Mandel Rivers is off limits. And we need to make room. The Sea Wolf. I mean, Triumph. Trafalgar class. Of course, I would like to attack this superiority, but. He's running quite loud. If he detected him at a range of 18 nautical miles, five knots. <laughs> yeah, but he, I guess he's sprint and drifting, something like this. And he's at that depth, you can't tell. So when we change the depth, we can tell. Let's go over the layer, see what happens. Victor one, yeah, capable boat, but older. That's basically Victor is before Akula and even a Victor one. That is one of the first boats. What is it for technology standard? Then seventies, sixties. Okay, yeah, we should handle it. Okay, no, he is what? Don't know how deep he is. Ah, that should be, come on. But I guess we went above the layer and you immediately realized where he is. I guess by triangulation of several. So he must be above the layer. Go below the layer, but just under the layer. That should help to protect yourself by maximizing. Let's assume a default sound profile. Uh, it can make it even worse. If he's close to the layer, uh, close to the surface. S uh, maintain deep, go deep. If it is a standard profile, deep should be fine. Yeah, definitely he's above the layer. I mean, we see that. Looks like they have issues tracking it. Josh. Okay, what is your what you carrying? Tigerfish torpedo. I think that is also good, right? That is something similar to an ad cap. No, not really, but that is not impressive. That is the max range. This means we need to engage when he is here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, good night. What is the sea wolf? Yeah, it's not that much more, right? Okay, get yourself into a flying position. Why is uh, that is his direction? 160. Okay, get yourself into a flying position. Mm. 
If he's riding five, do seven. Okay, I got some bit disappeared. What the heck is this again? Okay, I should not I should be worried about, I guess. Time like this, you very wish you would have a stair. Yeah, definitely, or another platform you could call. But this is also not often realistic. I mean, that you can, you know, a command, of course, also gives you this God's view. You can call a helo this box, yeah, not box spotting, but yeah, you get the idea. I like the idea of, but I never saw a scenario really making it good. I like this idea of comms that you lose comms with your submarines. <laughs> it was a feature in Fleet Command, but in Fleet Command, it was also rather sloppy to play with. In Command, it is now introduced that you might lose. <coughs> But I think you still see where they are, right? You just can't give them commands, so it is still spotting. I mean, if they spot a, sub a submarine, I guess you will get notified about it. Or is it really some hidden combat happening if this function is enabled? That would be great if you, I don't know, don't know what is going on below the surface as long as they don't reach out for you. They might send a uplink, a ELF uplink. In danger and then you can bring a helo that would be great i mean that would be really great if elf elf received from triumph uh, pass up more not more because i guess those messages are quite limited and then you bring helos in order to realize what the heck is going on there and then you even need to first identify your own subs that would be a great thing for a command to keep in mind that your subs do stuff like I have those waypoints here, but they disappear from your screen. You know they are somewhere, there could be a marker, expected location of sea wolf, but you can't communicate with them. You can perhaps send them a HLF, uh, no, no, wait, um, uh, VLF, and yeah, to say them, hey, what is going on? Oh, what's this? Oh, Boris Chikilin. <laughs> so Boris Chikilin. So who detected it? Atlanta. So it is possible. You can detect. Okay, yeah, I guess. What is the distance? It is okay. So I don't know how this goal bypassed me. Because that is fine. Good. Boris. What is your course? Atlanta, go below the layer, should help with detection. I lost contact to the sub. What could be the problem? Go um, just under the layer. Go over the layer. Hmm. I guess he went, yeah, he went out of the toad array. Uh, good. Bring the Augusta in. We have a surface group here. Uh, they carry tomahawks, tea lambs, harpoons. Mm. Wait, if I give them weapons free, they might engage first with harpoons, which I not really want. Um, yeah, I might do a manual. I don't know exactly what happens if you do attack right now. They will fire harpoons, I guess. 
Yeah, we lost the victor. No, it's not the Tower of the Ray, he simply disappeared. Keep tracking it to its last known position. And yeah, you both. You, do, you can stay on five nuts. Is the course known? What is the course of this guy's 255? Okay. Oh, we lost contact. Establish. Too deep or what? Go above the layer. Re establish contact with Victor One. Lost it again, yeah, but it is still there. Last report speed is for. Oh! Okay, that might be a lead ship. We are asked to attack everything that is coming by, so let's go. Uh, I'm not sure if we, but we can intercept it. But yeah, yeah it should should be fine. Um, yeah, I don't think this this is running how far, how far? Yeah, twelve knots. Go cruise. That should be fine. Go intercept. You come up here and go as deep as possible or under the layer first. Yeah, that's the best trick. That he went silent. Nine minutes. He was detected by what? By the Atlanta. He would be by now here somewhere.
That was should I never will do it again, sorry. Okay. Let's see. The scepter. Two ships perhaps. Just finished finished our dangerous water Halloween multiplayer battle. And was it good? What was it about? How many did participate? Last reported speed was five knots. I'm not sure this guy is getting away here. Okay, I mean, yeah, okay. this is. Show me again this ad cap torpedo. What is the maximum range of it? That is the, the wire. Ah, practical range. Captain, I uh, can remove those electronics. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but, um, show me those those uh, blueprints of those torpedoes. What happens if you remove this switch here? Yeah, then you can fire as far as you want. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. There's no rules in war. <clears throat> At least not here. But it is not really, I mean, I don't understand. I guess they will attack. Sometimes what the problem is exactly, when the I don't know if exactly if the practical range is 8. But you have a running target, a leg pursuit, where something is running away from you. It might be already fine to fire it, because the ad cap has a range of 20. But will they wait until they are, I don't know, at 4 3 miles? Because, you know what I mean? Because they have it wired in their head that practical range is... Okay, so down. Creep. Go over the layer, or, or under the layer first, see if you can detect them. I would like to fire below the layer. Yeah, good job. Yeah, uh, do I need to ID them? Yeah, I think I need... God, there's a proper fire position. ID those ships. But didn't you had all the information that it is hostile? Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure, international shipment could. Yeah, okay. Kashin, what is this thing? We don't know. 60 minutes fire. Right. It's, I guess it is a single ship. This could be information from this here. This command showing sometimes multiply. Yeah, I think so. This pause. Yeah, okay, we regained. Slow down to 7. Command is also, Mike does also show multiple contacts, right, on a single. Yeah, I think one ad cap is enough fire. Automatic fire is a lot. What, what, what do you recommend to fire? Two? Two, you say? What is it? A caching. Yeah, I would say too. Yeah. Is it a guided missile destroyer? Juicy target. How many are you carrying? With those ad caps. 
40, yeah, fine. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we might not have time if the fire sub rocks, fire too. You know what? Engage him simply. I will look, watch what you will do. Where did you lose contact? Because of the tops? Yeah, he's running sonas and running, he detected. my game. Man, what is going on? <laughs> Calculations going on here, what? Jesus Christ. Is it those two tops or what? I guess the complete... Ah, yes, yeah, something is happening. Uh, wait. Uh, what is going on? Some scripts are firing. World War 3 is being... 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 calculated. Yeah, my game. Yeah, I guess this. Um, sometimes the fur and this are uh, circles. And this cash. This this. What is it? Kashin has a lot of weapon systems and whatever it's radars. Jeez, is, is it the circles? Oh. Yeah, this guy is in Ghana. Come on. One torpedo could get perhaps um, he's carrying some decoy or whatever, but not two. Uh, we only had four players. I was in an LA fleet, flight one with a teammate versus Akula and Victor Free. I managed to kill both enemy subs and was the last man staying. My team ran around, around, aground. I must run aground. Ah, good job. Impact. Not sure what happened. What the heck is going on with this torpedo? It is still on the wire. Um, wait, I can manually steal him. Should probably do it again. Why are you not, why are you not steering it? <laughs> huh? Ah, he isn't acquired, right? What the heck? Jesus Christ, what is going on with this torpedo here? Is he now listening to me? Yeah. Why didn't the AI steer it into it? Men are flooding. Yeah, he can hear it on his own us. Ah, you can give attack orders? Is that perhaps how you do it? Is he quiet? Is it a dot? Could be a dot. Something's wrong with this torpedo. But I don't know what. Okay. Yeah, I didn't ask anything. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> results matter. <laughs> Everything happened. Okay, yeah. Change position. On the other hand, 
There's the uh, surface group. I guess this was the lead ship. They will now do something. They definitely reposition, get away from the wreck. And now we can't help them. And try to locate this surface group before they will manage to get out of here. We could fire a harpoon attack, that would, would be not that stupid. Could combine a harpoon attack on the other hand, yeah, why not, I mean. They want to come here, they want to, they want to go to Iceland. Can we do it? Can we assign harpoons to it? Weapon control stat, what? Weapon stacked. Yeah, to too deep, okay, but other than that, it's fine. Good, go shallow. You go shallow. Green was. Yeah, but the surface weapons. It's red. That's a red thing. Ah, it, it, the, the circle appears when you go. when you have met launch requirements, I think. Let's see? Oh shit, there's another ship. Okay. What is it? Good. Yeah. I think now we see the circle. Intercept. Identify intercept. Go deep and right f full speed. Go aggressive. Slow down. Yeah, it could be those ships here. They could be already here. They could be already here. <clears throat> yeah, here they are. Oh shit! There's this goddamn torpedo coming. Jesus Christ. Shit, here, quiet. Is it airdropped? Man, you're allowed to do whatever. Ah, they will also avoid cavitation while. Yeah, that is sometimes not. Advisable. Go full speed, goddammit. Survive. Drop decoys. Something here. <laughs> Drop active deep under <laughs> layer. Drop it. Yeah, but they're dropping automatic. And go into it. That's not, not how you do evasion. Is he running? I guess he's on automatic. Drop something here, dropped millions of dec decoys, light chaff, whatever. Yeah, but they're dropping decoys in the same. All weapon seekers were spoofed. Orlan is re attacking. Yeah, it is an airdropped. Do we want to attack with harpoons? No, I don't think so, not yet. Those two LA classes have some going on here. I don't know if we can survive this torpedo here and that looks really bad for us. Perhaps if I rise. Yeah, decoys used automatically, I know. But sometimes that gives you a placebo effect. If you launch it manually. Hit Go re qu quickly up. Are you doing it? Take 
this is fucking sick. Of me. No, I think he is running deep on its own command. Did you manage it? You are the you are the hero, man. Got back. Okay, good job. I'm sorry, good job. I will stay deep forever. I will stay. Don't go up. It always happens if I go up, some stuff comes in, into you, flying into you. Stay deep. Yeah, no, not 90 feet. Go deep. Did he survive? 15 seconds. But he's still running. Yeah, the torpedo is still somewhere here. Oh, that was close. I was thinking first LA class down. Yeah, you know, you don't need to destroy every ship. Submo save those submarines. Yeah. I always go for the sonar contacts. I come up, come up, come up. Yeah, but they also detect you better. They also detect you better if you switch. No way. Did he reacquire? Looking, yeah, good shot. Is he coming? But I think we are already already in the clear. And um, the delta should be enough. This no oh, shit. <laughs> Perhaps it's not enough. Don't exp oh shit. <laughs> Don't explode, Atlanta. You can do it. Come on. He's is he snaking first? He's no no no, he's coming, he's acquired. Shit, man, come on, do something, go do some Ramios. Oh man, fuck this torpedo. Ay, ay, ay. No, I don't want to die, come on. Don't hurt my feelings. We already, I had the feeling that we survived this, and now he's coming back. That would be real, come on, don't do it to me. He missed 19, 13, 27. Yeah, that. Ah, that's that's um, this time here. He missed ten seconds ago. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Don't explode! Don't explode! Oh. Out of energy, self-destructing. Man, Atlanta here. Rename the Atlanta the um, Atlanta the dances. This wolves. Good. Atlanta get in a flying position, stay deep forever. Four minutes. So you detected them while evading. Go on cruise. And find out this ship here, I mean. Nah, stay deep. Or at least stay below the layer. Otherwise we no 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 to go deep this deep 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 deep. Don't come back. Didn't acquire.
I'll strike back with a vengeance. Did you lose a sub so far? No, but doesn't they know where we are? Is there something that can't strike? What is the distance? Seal commanders, can they fly over there and capture a sub? We could put a sub, some pressure on them with harpoons. What is the range of them? 65 nautical miles. That is too much. There's nothing in range. Could use. Are those guys carry nuclear death charges? Are they are they weapons free? Uh, nuclear sub rocks. Yeah, death charges. T lamb. We could. I mean, I think it is possible by. You could do a T lamb strike on those ships. Nuclear one. Uh, what what happens if I do it? <laughs> Hello, I want to hit the ground. t lamp strike, please. Wasn't it possible? To fire a only launch? Or, no, I don't know. Hit a, simply a spot on the map. Okay, this guy, but there is a torpedo drop there. I don't know. We could do beer only launches. There is something here in this area. But it could be also aircraft. If they come up, they might kill me. We will wait. Sub, my subs go before killing. I don't want to lose six at eights. We can also attack from behind. We will find solutions. But now coming up, why something is up above us. Two subs. You are fine. Get out of there. What was it? We are torpedo in the water. Yeah. Now wait. There was no torpedo here. Okay, there was no torpedo here, that was uh, by accident, the message, I uh, see nothing. Nah. There was no torpedo drop uh, for the Augusta. Okay, check out, come on, just another layer, something must be here. And go cruise. Ah, stay quick for a moment, wait. Start the race. No. Yeah, get into his baffles. And then we can speed up and kill him. Before he does some crazy Ivan or whatever. Nothing. Roger that. Okay, he's still hunting here. Yeah, you stay deep and you are absolutely not participating in this attack. This thing we might kill. What the fuck it man? Yeah, now we can fire practical range is enabled. His distance to target is 12. Um, he's riding how fast? 12 knots, go as deep as possible, do a sprint and drift into this direction.
classified hostile because I say so. Yeah, I need to reload this stuff so he went bollocks uh Yeah, same, I think the same. Cruise missiles, sure. But I think torpedo wise, you can't get close enough without getting without blowing up. And even if you have really those crazy weapons like <laughs> what? Ah oh, wait, no, there's no god mod enabled. Um God mode. How was it? View? Got here. Oh, that's a, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, and um, look at those. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Who designed this scenario, man? Are you absolutely nuts or what in your head? <laughs> what the heck I'm supposed to do here? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, okay. So and that's and, and that's some same commander decided to send our subs into this thing, and was thinking, handle it. Jeez, guys, wait first get rid of those. Yeah, I mean I can't tell. I mean sure if I hunt. <laughs> Look at this, one, two, three, four, five aircraft here looking for me. Yeah, okay, I. You know, I can't say how much, you know, I, that's why I wanted to um, go, go into god mode. I, I know submarine improved. I never played a submarine into those new, in, since they get rid of this. There's a, a lot of the, of the criticism I mentioned. I mean, the scenarios as a bollocks, uh, oh, especially beforehand, ASW was really overpowered. There was no question because of MRD. But I remember I played some stuff recently and we didn't found those subs that fast. Sure, you can debate about what is too fast, what is too slow. Like I said, I didn't serve in the Navy, I don't have first hand knowledge there. And only, yeah. But I would say, look at those exercises and I should tell you. Um, but of course it's hard also to translate the exercise in a real life situation. And as I said, command, at least this this military version is used by several navies like the Marine, German Marine and the US. Perhaps they use a different database. <laughs> um, so it is fine, but who the fuck, man, what is this? How am I supposed to survive this? <laughs> what the hell? Man? Okay, but they're only looking at the coast. Yeah, nobody would commence here submarine operations. As I said, look at this here. I mean, there's still a lot of the assets have distance here, but then you could operate, I don't know, from where. Britain. Yeah, you can't do surface, anti-surface, without air superiority close to enemy air bases. That is. I can play even. 
Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> no wonder that I'm getting prosecuted. But I wonder how that with one passive decoy. 3.5 nautical miles away, he already got perfect fire solution or what? Uh, no. And MRD shouldn't reach down there. Yeah, let's see. I want to see how he prosecutes me. Is it still the MRD thing, right? He will now fly over me and detect me immediately. Man, get your fucking MRD fixed. Is it MRD detection? Can I see this? Look at this, how they home into me. Where is that data coming from? This aircraft is at 1000 feet. I am at 1000 feet. And you think he's detecting me with those sensors or what? I mean, sure, it is possible, but... Look at this. Even some guy firing me. <laughs> the... Yeah. Uh, this is I uh, really this is bullshit man. Are they replaying their own game and Are you re ever read uh, one exercise where it worked out like this? Uh, it was it was a sub rock from right. sixty nautical miles right on my head. Because some dude in an aircraft was, was reporting he got, uh, got a hit on me. And this hit was also perfect. Perfect. Because that's how it worked in the 90s. That's why MRD is removed from aircraft. Because it is... And he by accident hit me with this MRD. I don't think it was the Zono boy. It was... You saw one aircraft passed by. And then every aircraft started to home into me. And I don't know. Command developers. If you play your own game, perhaps enable the truth mode and look at the screen what is happening. And then think for some seconds if this is if this can make sense in the reality no it doesn't and get perhaps some do a single google search yeah this scenario is unplayable so who released this i don't know how, how do you can report this as playable was this ever tested played once got them wasted time and I absolutely have right to be here that in that because I invested my time into this. I was really hoping tonight to have some sub action, but this is not a sub action, this is absolutely nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. I'm going to start a thread about this, about people within several subs are underwhelming this game. Yeah, I, it's hard to say, but um you could also say, is subs underwhelming or is it, I mean, we all saw it right now, how I got killed. Never would happen like this in reality. Never. And you saw there was some random hit. It was not a passive decoy. I mean, we can load the file again. It was, he by accident, one of those aircraft flow, flow, flew over me and detected me. And that's not how MRD works in reality. But I can't tell. It's, and immediately everything homed into me and some random ships in second yeah that's is, that is i mean as a player you can ask of course i also use this god's knowledge and dropped a sub rock right on my head from my mrd hit they not even triangulated my location with um passive sono boys what is typically done they did nothing they simply flew over my head and killed me while I was 1,000 feet deep. Yeah, and do check check it on Google, Google MRD detection, and find out how super this stuff is. That's why they're removing it from those ASW, what was it, Poseidon aircraft. M newest ASW aircraft doesn't come with a sensor, right? You know, it is it would be too easy because it is such a super thing in detection. You simply fly around over waters and detect random submarines. And I think you don't need to know much about warfare, perhaps also if, if you, an individual that comes with certain intelligence should simply by applying reality rules understand why this perhaps is not working. But okay. And then you end up with scenarios like this. I also wonder who did the scenario and was thinking this will be a fun experience. Send um, 10 subs into 1000 aircraft, 1000 subs. And yeah, hit the shipping lanes. Sure, we'll do. Next time, let's let's play Silent Hunter. 
design a sen- sub scenario. Um, go to London, hit the shipment in the harbor there with your sub. 44. End of 44. Do you think somebody would bring assets like crucial assets like 688 attack subs like this? No. Cut that. We waste the time. Everything is here to have enjoyable sub action, and then you end up with shit like this. It's always the same. Eh? Don't play scenarios that are where you, uh, yeah. Everything that is um, only, like it was mentioned in the chat, sub focused scenarios that are specifically designed for subs. But if you end up with those combined arms things and what he did here, I don't know. This is yeah. Perhaps next time we will do some shipping. Let's hit shipping here in Autosk. No, it's not Autosk. Yeah, let's do it here next time. I think that will work out wonderfully. Let's hit all our subs, let's bring them here. I don't see any problem. Or perhaps right at Moscow. Now look, this guy, look at this guy, he has a waypoint that is not suit for, for me. Now happen what ha- now see what will happen. Yeah, okay, detect me already beforehand. From what? What detected me? Perhaps this thing, yeah, damn it, the safe cam is now right. I mean, if they did an active sonar, did they do an active sonar, that could probably detect me. Because they exactly knew where I was, really, exactly. With a, but there's only a passive di- passive um, solo boy in the water. I mean, they already. Okay, they, okay, they dropped the torpedo right on my head. Typical stuff. Because that's what I'm already used to. Okay, the torpedo didn't acquire. Ah, he acquired, okay. And <coughs> Okay, now I should be clear. There's nothing. I look at this now. We are meters. No, yeah, okay. That's the reason why they have this strange. Like I said, it's uh, translating from matrix to imperial, and that's why they get those strange scales. Okay, what happened here? Magic. Magic, 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 uh, Johnson, NBA. He detected me because. You know, I can tell you what is they have. I think there's really shit math below this game. Uh, sometimes I associate with detection. 
they work out target solutions, pinpoint them without be, without data being there. So st stuff like if you hunt down subs or whatever, you wait usually one two minutes. You have a solution, and you ask yourself, why the heck I have a solution? Where is the data coming from? And this game is simply wait. In the beginning, you have a rough solution, but over time, the solution becomes simply good. And those guys. They, at one point, they detected me basically like X-ray. You saw right, like they home into me. They didn't drop any Sonoboy here. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, questions? Meine Fresse, echt, ey. And this was even worse beforehand. I mean, this was even worse. It improved a lot. One, two years ago it was worse and I'm not sure what, who, if somebody who created the scenario replayed it himself and said, geil, hammer, was ich hier produziert habe. Richtig, very good. Mucho gusto. Ah, what a fucking waste of time, eh? was really exciting for this and then punch in the face. God damn. Yeah, but happens. Yeah, let's continue it. See, let's 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 continue the suffering. Okay. Yeah. I think this sub can't be saved anymore. But I don't know. On the other hand, I, I don't know if I will keep the stream around. People will come see this and say, "Wow, that's reality." No, it isn't. I I'm, that is not that is not how it should be. That is really utter nonsense. I think even this one game, Arctic Sickle, no, Arctic Sickle, I said this shit submarines getting wasted all over the place. Also, the death is completely ignored. I think the death modeling, sound speed profile and whatever, they're absolutely dropping it. Essential part of a submarine. In every goddamn submarine, there's equipment stored to get everything out of the of the oceanic um, physics data because it is very important. I guess this game is simply abstracting the shit out of it and um, do, replacing it with elementary school maths. At least it looks like. If I watch it in God's mode, I, it's even worse. I never again want to watch it in. Do, in in God mode, I have it destroyed a lot of my <laughs> imagination. God damn it! To see how those aircraft find me, it really hurts because it looks like absolute cheat mode, absolute bullshit mode. How they home into you, not even dropping Zono boys, being too lazy to drop proper Zono boy nets. They simply home into you, and then some dude in a ship 15 miles away decides to sub rock you right into your butt. Okay. And nobody at Command HQ, winner of this and that, the king of the military simulations, noticed that this is a bit off. Okay. Good. Let's continue this authentic representation of naval warfare. And also this really nice scenario, putting you into absolute ultra nice situation where you have absolute maintaining tactical control. As I think next time, I think it's too much defensive. I will really next time, let's deploy somewhere here. Right, uh, hit them, hit them right in it at their homelands here. Deploy here and then hit Moscow. That uh, would be my my recommendation for anti-surface ops. And if you know, if you check my channel, you will nev never hear me 
and, and if, if I'm if I'm, I'm like this to a game, you know this shit is really wrong. Uh, it's absolutely. Absolutely wrong. Subs are not invincible, definitely not. Never will be, never were. But I mean, this truth mode showed you basically all evidence you need that this is simply. There's some, some guy throwing some dice around and that they simply didn't hit the balance right and then the sub rock right onto your head. But somehow they don't care, I don't know, it seems. Looks like the customers at the Pentagon are fine with it, or fine with whatever they get there, and so everything is good. Good, can I somehow save this up? From the magic ASW aircraft from the 10,000s he deployed into this mission. Which one was it? This guy? No. I already blow up. Ah, it overrode my save game. Yeah, gone now. <laughs> it's gonna go on. Uh, uh, <laughs> shit, man. Should I play Dangerous Waters tonight? Uh, I was thinking about for which game should I play. I wanted sub action. Okay, northern patrol area is uh, Agorna. Let's continue here. But again, um, if the scenario would be perhaps somewhat more forked out, uh, you wouldn't of course um, feel those drastic, I mean, those drastic effects, especially if, I, mean, what, what, I don't know what he expected. Um, if he sends you here into this gap while spamming you with 30 anti-submarine warfare aircraft uh, subs and ships, not sure what he expected there. Yeah, I, it's, yeah, sometimes really hard to understand what people expect and what people are thinking. That would be perhaps I, no, nah, it wouldn't be a good skill. I don't even want to know what people have on their minds. <laughs> it would be, I guess, uh, would rather drive you crazy. But yeah, sometimes it is really hard to understand. Yeah, science service. Much better design. Yeah, I definitely will return. Like I said, since they fixed this um, MRD ranges, I'm pretty happy with it. This scenario, of course, is extreme already in design. Even if you would have proper simulation, it would be still. The I personally think nobody would ever send subs, uh, deploy subs like this. I don't see any reason and if you want to hit the shipment of towards Iceland, uh, you know, there is also this spot for example. Sure, long range aircraft can hit you, but not the complete tonnage of here. Is it also like this in the box? That would be interesting to know. Yeah. 
What is it for Corridor? 200, 400 miles about. Yeah, I will definitely check out Silent Service because I mean the game has everything, but I need to watch all what I play because always if I want to have some sub fun, I end up really absolutely um, frustrated about the mechanics and everything. But I know in Silent Service there are some really good design scenarios, avoiding avoiding the weaknesses of current CMO. Oh, perhaps the weaknesses aren't, um, but n n no, there are weaknesses, period. It's I know that, I mean, there are YouTubers that try to avoid to say anything negative, you know, perhaps uh, at one day. Matrix will knock at the door and say, hey, do you want to do a stream for us? You might get some sweets from us. No. I tell you right now, this game has weaknesses and always, already always had. Especially this aspect might be one of the high, biggest weaknesses. Air combat, okay. Pretty good even, but yeah, sub marine operations, they are somewhat clueless. I was wondering, like I said, with the MRD, it's like somebody comes to you and you say, hey, submarines here, yeah, um, you know, they can dive. Really? They can dive? You would immediately realize that this guy perhaps doesn't know that much about submarines. So I felt when they were thinking that MRDs can scan everything and find 90% of subs on the planet are found by MRD hits, by those magnet man magnetic anomaly detectors. And you don't need sonar boys, you know, you only <laughs> run with your... Um, with your X-ray apparatus there and find everybody. And yeah, it took some time to realize them. That. I mean, they were responding like, yeah, we need to check this. I don't know, no customer, our military customers didn't say, said anything about this. It sounded a bit clueless, simply. <laughs> it sounded like some dudes came over. Absolutely has no, yeah, you customers, but did you ever ask them? Did you ever read a book about naval warfare before you did this? And yeah, I don't know. I think it rather is not really um, a competent answer if you claim something and then somebody says, hey, my, my, the customers are saying nothing. <laughs> Our military customers said nothing. Uh, then people started, then um, I remember then people came who really served in either ASW or in, 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 the, in the submarine force. They said it is bullshit, and then they said nothing, and some months later, suddenly uh, the MRD range was lowered. Yeah. Typical, always those um, guys who say nothing, and then they simply fix it without ever responding. I think it sometimes we really must be hard for the community, because it feels so unrewarding if you try to... I mean, sure, it's always the, the thin red line between being simply some guy that is annoying, and many people d definitely have no clue. They simply s claim something, but as in Comet Mission, this and that should be better because I saw a movie about strong tigers. Tigers never getting penetrated on the Eastern Front. <laughs> Stuff like this, but you know. Um. But I was quite happy when I saw the change. Okay, let's finish off this. Victor, which is not aware that we're behind it, but we shouldn't get closer if this guy at one point checks out, he might realize that we are behind him. Is this the maximum range? Wait, if this is the maximum range, um, might be not a good idea to fire. Kinematic is 15 nautical miles. Practical 7 is fine. Fire.
Yeah. I guess he not even heard the torpedoes for a long time. Simo was a bit too air oriented, yeah, I think as well, yeah. Definitely. It's also the problem is because um, you have this God's view, you have always, you know everything. And aircraft are the f assets that can respond the fast, the most fast, and um, it's simply not the reality of warfare, but it's nothing the game is not the game fault. And I really like ASW, doing ASW in this game, but it feels sometimes so easy. You know, here we played, yesterday we played um, NWP mod. And I was looking for those Chinese submarines. I even stopped the mission because I was saying uh, we had a patrol area of what? Also something like this, smaller. And I had to find those subs and there were two around. I was saying, no, no, god damn it. In command, I might have located them <laughs> after five minutes. Um, because of those um, laser Sono boys or MRD or whatever. I don't know what, um, I think it's botched, but uh, you, we will now do a test, let's do something scientific. The problem is you can't play this as... But I think playing in truth mode, I want really to see, I never did it. To see true, truth mode, how, but I'm not sure if I want to see it. it what I saw, saw there in this previous truth mode session uh, really left a bad, ta a bad taste in my... You know, sometimes you don't want to know the truth. <laughs> You see, only once some of them are active, that's what I meant. We don't know even how many of them are passive. <laughs> God damn, who designed this scenario? The suicide heaven, man, look at those aircraft. Ah, uh, that's uh, that's up here. Okay. Oh man. Uh. Hey, this guy we missed. Oh. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I'm interested to see because. Should detect us at some point, that is quite a close net. 
Ah, it isn't that close, six miles. We could bypass it by accident without him hearing us. And yeah, I went deep. And they are deployed. They are deployed where? At uh, quite shallow. So that was quite good as we run deep. That's also a reason why I run deep, because it often protects you at least from those shallow shallow um, sono boys. Or whoever designed this went absolutely nuts on this, I mean. <laughs> Hey, hey, I just got complete naval pack on Steam, so I have a question for Dangerous Waters in this game. Should I play them stock Steam install or their patches I should install? Um, yeah, you might need this Windows 10 DLL in order to launch a game. And I recommend you start with... Um, the normal game, you don't need anything, yeah, just this Google simply Dangerous Waters Windows 10 fix. Uh, you will come to a page called something with Dvorak. There's a DLL you simply need to place in your main folder in your Steam installation of Dangerous Waters. And I would play it normally without patches in the beginning. And depending on your learning speed and your preferences you can then check for mods. I mean the biggest one is of course or the most sophisticated one and I must also say quite well made from a realism standpoint. Perhaps perhaps you should get command the command devs together with the reinforced alert devs. And does somebody know something about those reinforced alert devs? Are there, are there some sort of a cooler club? Are they sitting there at it, what, what's the, what is the naval base? <laughs> some, some more Mansk, uh, more Mansk naval, naval guys doing some dangerous waters mod. More Mansk or what uh, do they have there for big naval bases? I mean, like I said, it is the game does a good job still, but in this scenario, I mean, look at this. Uh, this what what do you expect to happen? And that's, I mean, let's sit everybody together, and, yeah, okay, I send my subs here. The enemy will simply do this. Okay, kids, what do you expect will happen, yeah, and, uh, do you think blue, this will go, go, uh, De deploy some seals, man. While there are five million aircraft in the in the, I mean, sure you can do it. Yeah. What is that? That is the most beautiful pattern I ever seen of solo boys. Is the vanilla dangerous water good enough? Yeah, I think it is pretty good. Also from an authentic standpoint. Um, again, if you wanted more sophisticated, dangerous um, re reinforced alert. But I think for a starter, especially if you're not that ultra competent on submarine warfare, I would rather recommend vanilla. Because it works pretty good out of the box. A lot of stuff is self explanatory. And when you learn the ropes, you can advance to reinforce alert or to Ilvami. 
I think uh, you see how much time I spent in reinforced alert. And I think they re nailed it. I don't know what they did there in the last patches, but perhaps they got some captain out of <laughs> of Murmansk. And he said, okay, show me what you got there. <laughs> I'll tell you how the real deal is. It feels somehow really real. But again, I didn't surf on, on submarines. I didn't, I, I wasn't in the Navy, so. Most stuff I know is from, he said, she said, with an educated background and from OSINT. But, um, yeah, as I said, um, you can also check out some of the information that is available for those exercises that are often commands, you know, NATO trains together, submarines train aircraft, aircraft train submarines, submarines train surface ships, that is a simple plan that is done always, they train together, here often in the no North Sea or whatever here, um, because that's how they, how they learn this stuff. But sure, with so, such an overwhelming force, it's hard to say. I mean, look at the amount of sonar boys. We are basically going through them. That we didn't get torpedoed here is a rather a good sign. I mean, that we didn't, that they didn't hear us. Passive sonar boys can be really underwhelming. I'm not sure if there's again, um, <laughs> it's just joking, but American beers and sometimes receive comments. You know, I'm, I, of, I often play hard mode. I think hard mode is playing Soviet or Russian based aircraft because um, for long periods they operate semi active missiles which require guidance by the launching platform while. Western forces often have the convenience of having early availability of stuff like AMRAMs. And this makes a huge difference in, in, in air combat. Look at this, they didn't, didn't detect this guy. He was perhaps too deep. What? At least they didn't attack me, but they are doing something here. I don't know what they are doing. I can order them, oh, that's cool. Ah, perhaps when I play in God's mode, I screw up the scripts. No, two more dudes are coming over. What is it here for a party? Yeah, if, I don't know, something is with this solo boy. I heard something there. Oh, oh, oh man, what the heck? Uh, they, is it because they're playing basically both factions? No, 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 they're doing something. Engage offensive. Yeah, makes sense. What is the detection range? Absolutely plausible. That's something that is running 20 knots. He's also very deep. And we are, I mean, I can just throw them. 7.4 miles. Um, a Los Angeles class running 20 knots, completely fine. That's absolutely nailed. That's also what you get in dangerous waters so on re reinforced alert mod. And yeah, I might know what the problem is. <laughs> the problem is this interaction between all the units. This might screw up what a real ASW is about. And that's might screw up submarine operations in this game sometimes. In reality, you don't have this absolute crazy C2, C3. I wasn't also aware that the, that the AI is using it like, like a human player, basically. Are you seeing how those aircraft are homing into me? You know why? Because the Akula detected me at 900 feet. And, it's, and it, by magic, informed those aircraft and they now come and kill me. 
yeah, I think that is the main problem. Because that is naval warfare or su submarine, subsurface combat is screwing subsurface combat absolutely up. Because that's absolutely not how it works in reality. Sure, they could send a message, but um, not they, from 900 feet they can send perhaps, perhaps, but unlikely, but it would be possible perhaps, a, a VLF message, very low frequency message, but it can contain o only stuff like a limited amount of, 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 and it takes a lot of time. And this VLF message will be received by some special station until they rely to aircraft or whatever. I tell you, it will take a lot of time. Yeah. Stuff like what you see here might be possible if they are close to the surface maintaining really some sort of C2 link. Yeah, I think that might be what is absolutely screwing up this game. Yeah, he drops an active decoy right onto your head. Man. Really, absolutely on your head. And now, next to. Yeah, I see. Who this? Who the fuck should? Whoever designed the scenario, really? Did you ever went five minutes into what you designed? Because especially if it is working like this, or is the AI behaving differently? Nah, no, I'm on the US side, right? No, I can't give orders to them. I still on the US. You can switch sides somewhere, but I'm on the US, so. The AI should work properly, like in a true live fire exercise. And then you design the scenario like this. Shouldn't it come to your mind that everything will home into them? I guess he never played this. So otherwise I can't explain how you would end up with something like this. You will do one attack and you will get blown up. <laughs> Look at this. Like, like flies. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Do you want to attack? Uh, do I need to give the order or what? Okay. You cannot order an attack by using God's eye mode. Why? Huh? Why is that? What is that for a dumb limitation? Ah, is it because sensor data is different from what I see? Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. Hello? Are you reloading again? But Automatic weapon is outside of me. Yeah, then move towards it. Uh, he's, he's defensive. Yeah, that is sometimes sub submarines can't fire. It doesn't make sense. Um, they sometimes can't fire via guided torpedoes. I mean, it could be in reality that it might be a limitation. Could be that it is a safety measure that you are not allowed to fire torpedoes 180 in case something goes wrong with a torpedo. You know, um, perhaps it is indeed SOP that you need to fire torpedoes with, um, that with, towards an enemy that facing them. There are some games where you can fire torpedoes like this, but I could imagine that in reality there might be some safety concerns from from doing this in case something goes wrong via breaks yeah first the wire is a problem perhaps and then I don't know, the torpedo goes active immediately some malfunction and the same like that you I get uh, only allowed to activate the torpedo at a certain distance Being a civil is a luxury when it comes to subs, you can actually talk about noise levels and other classified stuff, yeah. But I have heard um, there is not that much classified as people often assume. I read an article that the uh, Navy, for example, is quite open to movie makers and others, other media providers. But nobody is coming up. Yeah, nobody is coming. And, you know, there are many... I don't know, movie makers or whatever, they rather go with their fun, fantastic and with their full action 
impre impression than with realism. There are many movies that have pretty good military advisors. They are so happy to give you information, but people simply don't ask for it. <laughs> They'd rather stick with their whatever. As with this one French movie, you can tell that somebody was there that knew about the real stuff. And there's not that much classified. You sometimes see, for example, documentaries um, that are provided directly by... Um, for example, there's a documentary about uh, Virginia classes, German subs as well. It's quite crazy. You can see the screens, you can see really, it looks like dangerous waters in the sub. It really looks like dangerous waters. Yeah. TMA screen looks like dangerous waters. In a, for example, 212A, most modern sub of the Germans, or also in Virginia classes. Looks like um, TM, TMA um, and the buttons TMA and uh, uh, TMA um, plot plot plotted in and uh, whatever. When the sonar list, the sonar list, uh, yeah. And yeah, but I think the the basics are right. But one major flaw, I don't know if you want to call it flaw, is of this game is how information is shared among platforms, and that makes it absolutely horrendous because. This way, how this game is treating information in a battle space is worst for submarines. I guess submarines end up as worst, as you saw. So Akula detected us being deep. In reality, it would first be some battle between Akula and uh, 688. Nobody would, because nobody could really tell what is going down there. Not that fast, at least. In command, one second and every every dude, even the, the, the caretaker, even the guy, the, even the cook in one second gets the information. Enemy set 1000 feet below, drop a top. Submarines can be set to no come unless they are periscope deaf. The designer of the scenario didn't enable it. Yeah, but no come, are you sure that no come is also blocking C2. I mean, we can enable it in the editor. I can enable it in the editor for a scenario and then... There was some uh, setting for it. You can manually enable it. I'm not sure if it's that easy right here. So, uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, wait, let's load this. Yeah, that's a good idea. I want to see if this makes things different. Because this scenario doesn't make sense in this way. I mean, <laughs> you will attack something, it will immediately give information to everything around. As if those old, if those um, stuff operates on 21st century. Not even nowadays you have these options. Yeah, but there's also something wrong how they how they detect yeah. They already stopped to exist now here. Okay. Wait, first I save this. Hey, you are right. Yeah, I didn't know it. That, uh, yeah, cool. So you can by you can by accident torpedo your own subs. Yeah, interesting. I want to see how this works out now. Is it running now? So now we will get to this Akola again. So the ah, uh, it is not. It is not about. I was thinking it is like the feature in 
in fleet command that you can't order subs that are deep. Ah. Yeah, Vice is disabled, man. This is an absolute golden feature. Vice is disabled. This need to be act activated. In yeah, wait. But if I'm not... My no come, okay. Now it's in effect. Can I order? No. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's in communication. Okay, yeah, okay. We'll see what happens. But I can't order them around, so it is like in fleet commands, okay. Yeah, that might be a problem. I don't know. Is what was up? You can order them to a comp stuff, right? Yeah. It's not that bad, I mean. Shit, I should have done it beforehand. It's quite interesting to play. I think this scenario would be really interesting with this. You give an order and then you leave it. And is this the last location? Or is this really the real location of the sub? No, I guess it is a real location, okay. Did he find me again? Yeah, and in previous command, he, he, he would kill you. I just wonder why he why he flew above me like this. But they changed something with the uh, MRDs. I almost, MRDs are really weak now, and that is good. I guess they found the right customer who told them that it, that it is not that super. I think that's the MRD sensor. Pre, uh, two years ago, every sub would explode. Just by an aircraft passing by like this. Okay, let's speed up. Are they even moving? They are moving, but so slow. Let's see what happens if I summon him to Comstaff. Yeah, cool. I mean, and. Nah. Hey, I like this play. Okay, so let's say he's now at Comstaff, and I tell you, hey, hit. This is your patrol zone. As deep as possible. The only problem is engagement, because the tech AI is simply to mean you could you would need to design patrol zones where they are on a anti-surface patrol. Mm, that's the problem. The AI is not always really good at engaging ships with subs. Cho choose sometimes rather stupid routes, and you know. Okay, let's see what happens here. Hey, wait, I can give him orders? I don't really what the f... Is it because of God mode? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the... Is this by accident? Deactivate code mod. Ah! Without code mod, I don't even know where they are. Ah, okay. But why they. I mean, he's simply running like a stupid towards his Akula. Yeah, that's the problem with this comms mode. Is there a comms mode only for AI? I know it is, but. I don't know how to play this properly. Is he doing something? Yeah, looks like a charm it seems. <laughs> what the heck is this man? Oh man, command. Uh. <laughs> I mean, on the other hand, I would do the same, right? I mean, as a player, you do the same, right? You detect a sub, you will, would use all your assets. So, yeah, it is hard. I mean, we also play it like this. We have to play the same advantage, but yeah. 
I think it's rather the mission design is simply if it works best if it's for AI, I think. Yeah, but is there even, I think there is not only for AI. Or is it, or did you see a mission where it's only for AI? I mean, sure, that would be also for me, I think, the best solution. Even if it's unfair, but yeah, this year I don't know. I guess the mission needs to be designed in a certain way. What the heck are they? What is this for? Some aggressive bully group here. <laughs> what is? Yeah, I think some AI stuff isn't isn't working out correctly. If you do God God mode, or perhaps it's like this. Perhaps it's a rally point but I like it that we can exist coexist friendly okay let's say I summon this guy here summon to resurface comms and then I say I take the cooler to uh, I can't yeah exactly okay did he report the cooler it simply appeared uh, he rep okay attack and uh, let's see what happens. And now he isn't reporting it anymore. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. What is he doing? Um, I, did he lose the track? <laughs> I guess so. I, but Akula also says, okay, wait, I'll help you. Is he now looking for him or what? Ah, that's so, so convoluted there. Eh? Well, I mean, this t tells you everything, right? So, this is for. The subs wouldn't exchange uh, exchange information that easily with all those five million aircrafts he put onto the map. It would makes it might be a more enjoyable experience, but so basically, when you get yourself into combat, you will get everything will come to you. I rate this scenario as basically unplayable. I mean, you can, sure, you can suffer through, but I guess people come to command because they want to play something that is realistic, not because they want to load scum themselves through a mission. I rate this mission as unplayable. As if somebody designed it without knowing how this game works, I don't know. Look at those guys, man, they're doing better without my input. <laughs> what? How did the... Who is... Soviet sank? Soviet. What happened here? Did they... Ah, was it friendly fire or what? Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's Okay, my recommendation is... Who's this guy? Yeah, it... I think this it was a sub, a Soviet sub, sunk a Soviet sub by accident. I I wasn't there. And so my recommendation is do nothing. Let them sink each other. Yeah, sub combat. I also don't know. You know, if you criticize something, you should at least. Uh, you know, sometimes you hear this. Um, I don't know, what could you... Yeah, the sensor... I mean... What we saw, why I got my two 688s here killed, I don't think it was the aircraft. 
but it was those frigates transmitting the position towards the aircraft which killed me immediately. That is a, that is a big problem. And that is a big problem that is not working like like this in reality, at least not that easily. This instant instant link pinpoint information spreading. That is making that is a major flaw limiting authentic submarine operations and surface operations as well. And by doing this scenario somebody basically by accident did it the worst way possible. Really the worst way possible. Yeah, also like that. That's your patrol area. Yeah, death 100 feet. Look at the stuff that is going on here. Seven ships here. Five subs here. So I think it's more scenario design, but it's a problem. But it st still stands. Uh, submarines are somewhat not having their teeth and CMO. That is indeed the case. Like so, like it was mentioned, torpedo attacks will you often get killed. Which also has something to do with this effing homes into you. Because it is really easy to get a very good and pinpoint solution here on ships or submarines. Yeah, I think enough here, come on. Let's call it a day. I said that the scenario. Basically ended like this, like a big waste of time. Normally not what I I'm used to in this campaign. It wonder leaves me a bit wondering why somebody designed this and left it like this in place. Because we already played some stuff in this campaign, which was really top notch, but this was 